clouds are formed from minute particles of water or ice held in suspension. Their effect on aviation and especially on visual flight is significant. Although there is infinite variation in the shape and colour of clouds, certain general characteristics can be identified to allow us to describe several cloud types. The first major differentiation between clouds depends upon whether they form in a stable or unstable atmosphere. A stable atmosphere will lead to stratiform or layer clouds. An unstable atmosphere will lead to the formation of cumuliform or heaped clouds, often characterised by vertical development. Clouds are further classified according to the level of their base. High level clouds have a base above 20,000 feet above mean sea level. At this height, the atmosphere is cold and these clouds will be composed of ice crystals rather than liquid water. The prefix zero is used to denote high level. Middle level clouds are prefixed by the word alto and have a base above 6,500 feet. A cloud is classified as low level if its base is below 6,500 feet. This initial division is known as the cloud family, whether it is high, medium or low cloud. Let's examine the main types of cloud. Starting with the high level clouds first, the following definitions are taken from the International Cloud Atlas published by the World Meteorological Organization. Cirrus which are abbreviated in forecasts and reports to CI, Charlie India. These are detached clouds in the form of white delicate filaments, white patches or narrow bands. They have a fibrous or silky appearance. Cirrocumulus, abbreviated to CC, Charlie Charlie are a thin white patch or layer of cloud composed of small elements in the form of grains or ripples, merged or separated but more or less arranged regularly. Cirrostratus, or CS, Charlie Sierra, is a transparent whitish veil of cloud having a fibrous or smooth appearance. This type of cloud will produce a halo around the sun or moon. Moving on to the medium level clouds, we have Alto Cumulus, AC, Alpha Charlie, and Alto Stratus, AS, Alpha Sierra. Alto Cumulus are a white or grey patch, sheet, or layer with shading, composed of rounded masses or rolls. Normally, these elements are regularly arranged. Autostratus is a greyish or bluish cloud sheet of layer or striated, fibrous or uniform appearance. Parts may be thin enough to vaguely reveal the sun as though through ground glass. We'll now look at the low level clouds. Remember these are clouds having a base below 6,500 feet. Note that this category also includes clouds of great vertical extent. Stratus cloud, on forecast and reports, is abbreviated to ST, Sierra Tango. It's generally a grey layer of cloud with a fairly uniform base. Stratus cloud usually contains only relatively small vertical air currents and so cannot support large water droplets. This type of cloud can give drizzle or snow grains with a low enough temperature. Stratocumulus or SC, Sierra Charlie. Clouds form a grey or whitish patch, sheet or layer composed of rounded masses or rolls. Now for the clouds of great vertical extent, which are classed as low level clouds because although they are deep, the base is below 6,500 feet. Nimbostratus, 
NS, November Sierra. Nimbus, meaning rain bearing, and stratus, meaning layer, is a grey cloud layer, often dark, the base of which is rendered diffuse by more or less constant rain or snow. It is thick enough to blot out the sun. Cumulus, on forecasts and reports, is abbreviated to CU, Charlie Uniform. Are detached clouds, generally dense with sharp outlines, developing vertically in the form of rising mounds, domes or towers, the bulging upper part of which resembles a cauliflower. Sunlit parts of a cumulus cloud will be brilliant white, while the base will be relatively dark and nearly horizontal. Finally, cumulonimbus, abbreviated CB, Charlie Bravo, in forecasts and reports, is a dense, heavy cloud with considerable vertical extent, forming mountains or huge towers. The upper part may spread out to form an anvil, while the base is very dark. Lightning, thunder and hail are all characteristics of a CB. Cumulonimbus clouds are a big hazard to aviation. 